All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here to discuss the standard and, and expert cards from the new Hood Scenario Pack. Um, I have the cards here in my hand. This is one of my videos from discussing the Marvel Champions Hood Scenario Pack. So I have the cards here just in case the scans are a bit messy and scuffed. So we have Formidable Foe as a new card. This is the an environment. The permanent. The villain gains steady. That's a standard two card. Standard mode only. They gain steady. The expert mode version. Enemy gain steady. Each enemy gain steady. Sorry, learn to read. So the in standard mode, the villain gains steady. In expert mode, each enemy gains steady. So everybody can't be stunned or confused. Basically, they have to be stunned twice. And there's an acceleration token that's permanently on the board the whole game. So that right there is disgusting. Nothing else to say about that. Dark Dealings. So this is the new advanced card, basically. The villain schemes with plus one scheme. When it flips over, give the villain an additional boost like boost card. So it's a much worse advance. Plus one scheme. Mob mentality. Um, this is the new gang up, basically. So the villain and each minute engage with you, attacks you. This card gains surge. Or discard the top seven cards of the encounter deck. But the first minion discard this way into play and engage with you. So discard seven cards, get the first minion put into play with you. And no, no surge at least, but still nasty. Overwhelming force. This is the card of God upgrade. Um, so this card, this one says discard the highest cost upgrade or support you control. In standard one, this card just always said discard an upgrade or support you control. This one forces you to pick the highest cost one. If no card with this card this way, this card gains search. Start of the past, which I believe is the same. Total Annihilation. Search. When revealed, the hero attacks you. That attack gains overkill. So it's a surge plus an attack that does overkill damage. And there's two of them. So that is a pretty rough one. I'll just, just to check because I'm not 100% sure. That's replacing, what card is that replacing from the standard one? It's replacing Assault, where it just gives it overkill, basically. The expert cards. Herald, which means that no other allies can help, no other players can help you with this. Surge. Deal each player one face down encounter card. Give the villain one face down boost card. So I believe this is supposed to replace, I want to say, um, on, on the file, the one that gives you an, an encounter card and surges at the same time. But it gives the villain a boost card and it gives everybody an encounter card. I don't know what's going on with this card, but this card is called Ruination. Insight 1, Peril. This card cards from the top of the encounter deck until a side scheme is discarded. Reveal that card. Place two threat on each scheme in play. So... This is, I want to take a moment to talk about this card. That's because this obviously is replaces master plan. Many people for master plan, what you would do is you would keep a scheme out sometimes on purpose, just so that it was master plan bait, basically. Like if master plan flipped, you would put the threat on there instead of fishing for a scheme. Now this punishes you basically by saying it's gonna incite one and it's going to definitely spit out a, a scheme, no matter what. And then two threat on each scheme in play. So this also means that it'll put out three scheme on the main scheme right away, which is bad, combined with whatever new scheme comes out. Seek and Destroy. This is a new card, I believe. And this is Insight 1, Peril. And it pretty much puts your Nemesis Minion into play with you, which I'm okay with. I think it's a cool idea. I like this. It's how they do it a bit sometimes in the new sets that we get in the new campaign, where there's different ways for your nemesis main to kind of be into play without drawing shadows. And obviously, it makes shadows of the past worse because it surges because of that. But still okay. And then last is slug it out. This replaces exhaustion. 
you surge, exhaust, and take two damage. Boom. So, what are our thoughts on these new cards? Now, to clarify, in case anybody is not aware, you can, in theory, mix and match these to your heart's content. What I mean by this is you can play standard one, expert two. You could play standard two, expert one. You could play standard one, expert one, standard two, expert two, whatever you want. Now, from what I've heard from people who have played this, I haven't played these cards yet, is if you're playing multiplayer, the expert cards are a bit annoying with peril because you can't st you can't stop them with like other people's cards to stop treasuries. Other than that, it's I feel like the expert isn't as bad. Expert two, because except for create cruel intentions and oh, I want to done out the worst ones. Standard, however, is where it really gets bad. Because one, giving a, giving the villain study, the assault replacement, total annihilation isn't that bad. Um overkill attack is not the worst thing. Shadows are the same. Even advance isn't too bad. The problem I do think is that half of the cards do have surge. And well, anybody who knows me and my conversation of playing knows my thoughts on surge. Surge is definitely in Nebula and Ronin, it was bad. They figured out how to calm it down now, but it is what it is in that sense. However, with that being said, this means that between these four cards, these these new sets, and the encounter sets that we got from the hood pack, we've expanded the game so much, it's insane. You have literally so many ways you can play the game now, outside of just the campaign as well, that I think they're really doing a good job at increasing the replayability of Marvel Champions. And that is something that I like to see. And that I'm, I'm really glad that they've done this with a pack like this. I haven't been this happy for a pack since like Kang in terms of like scenarios and stuff like that. So this is a really solid, solid pack. So let me know what you guys think about the standard two and expert two cards. Please post your comments down below. And I hope to see you guys liking these videos and following for some more. Marvel Champions content. Thank you guys.